That's who this world is. We call Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit and the Paleo ancient Hebrew tongue. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone and the other elders and apostles that's pushing the truth across four corners of the earth. Shalom. Shalom. Shout out to the Israelites. Shout out to the Israelites. It's like a speckled bird. Looking like the heathen, causing confusion. Shout out to the uh, brothers that's pushing this truth and sincerity. And the very few I want that believe. And y'all that believe in our testimony. Through Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh. Shout out, we like to say Shalom. 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 Come on here, prophesy the downfall of America, man. Um, I'm going to get to a point. to um, Y'all haven't seen us uh, where we used to stand. Um, months ago, but um, we're we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back out soon. You know, we just had a little uh, disagreement at a point in time, but we're definitely gonna go back out. Um, so y'all been wondering, like, you know, why we been out? But all of y'all that do watch our camp for uh, edification, I show much love to y'all. And all of y'all that have been uh, urging for us to go back out, is it for edification or is it for entertainment? You know? So because, because my camp brings a lot of entertainment. And it's not, and it's not, it's not for our entertainment. We just defend the gospel. But it brings a lot of entertainment if you watch the camp videos, man. I deliver it. Yeah, how, exactly. how, how our spirits are set up and how we basically judge the you know these heathens and our people. You know, some people might take it for entertainment, man, and, and, and not take it serious like how how he's basically trying to explain it. You know, but it, it's not it's not for entertainment. We are serious. You know what I mean? We may joke amongst ourselves when we out there sometimes, but at the end of the day, we are doing the will to get the point across, get the message across. That's right. And, and I noticed our views have dropped since we haven't been uh, in our own spots, you know. So that means uh, people basically look at us for entertainment, you know what I mean. So listen, man, if you're not here to actually listen to the truth that we bring out sincerely, that we suffer for weekly, then you're not meant to be in truth, bro. But I just want to get that across, man. We will be hitting back to the plow. Well, well we are hitting the plow week, period. No matter where we at, we're hitting the plow. Okay? But we will be on the streets soon, okay? Whether you like it or not, man. Okay? But, um, yeah, I just want to get that point across, man, because... A lot of people got shit fucked up thinking that niggas ain't hit the streets. We're not hitting the block. Right. You're stupid. You're stupid. Because um, no matter no matter where we no matter where we teach, it's the plow, man. Okay. It's the plow, man. Yeah, we're supposed to get, be in the streets of Concord. Yeah, of course. But it's also a thing called being wise, man. You know, and um, I feel like we have to be wise at a, at a certain at a certain point to uh, things that happen. So, you know, therefore, you know, that's why I don't got my camp out here in these streets right now. You know, but um, yeah, we will be back out there, man, real soon, man. You know, don't necessarily mean we we'll be at that same spot. But we'll be out there. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you go ahead, bro. How you saying, you know, uh, basically uh, being on the plow, you know, even though we're having in house camps, you know, we're still doing the will. Yeah, you know, but also, there is going to be a point in time where the Lord is going to take us off the streets, yeah. off the corners. Okay. So, does that mean that the word will still stop going out as far as us not, not you know, making. Our shows, you know, why he has us off the street. I'm pretty sure that he's still gonna have us in house with brothers, still doing shows, 
until the internet, you know, basically, you know, goes. Right. You know what I mean? Because there's going to be a point in time when the internet is cut off, you know, all that. You might have to go off the grid. But, you know, that's that's in due time. Mm-hmm. You know, but like you said, there's a, there's a point in time of us being wise, uh, disagreement, basically. So this is what we're doing for now. So if you, you're you not, basically, if you're watching and not liking the fact that we're not out here yelling at devils or yelling at these Edomites or cussing them out or, you know, basically being uh, entertained from what you feel like is entertainment, then, like I said earlier, you might as well not even watch it all. You know? Go ahead and give us a lesson. It's a book of uh, this book of Ezekiel, chapter 2, and verse 1. And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. Verse 2. And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me, and set me upon my feet, that I heard him that spake unto me. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel. Slot. Now, I'm going to break down verse 2. It says, And the Spirit entered into me, and when he spake unto me, he said upon my feet that I heard him that spake unto me. So, how can that happen to you, man? Now, now in that day, the prophet actually had Yahweh, you know, dealing with him straightforward. You know what I'm saying? But in this day, how can that happen to us, man? By us keeping his law, statutes, and commandments, man, and understanding the scriptures, man. That's how that can happen to us today, man. The Lord will put you upon your feet when you understand his word, man, when you live by his word, man. Okay? That's why these Christians don't understand the Bible, man, because why? They don't go by the law, statutes, and commandments, man. The Lord, the, the Lord, the Lord said the law, statutes, and commandments will give you sight of the nations. What that mean? Let you know what these nations is doing to his nation, the people. <clears throat> so, therefore, it's a lot. You have to understand the, the the way that you can understand, other than Ezekiel, is live by his commandments, and then he's going to give you a spirit to stand upon your feet. And once you get that spirit to stand upon your feet, you're going to understand these scriptures. And when you stand upon your feet, you're going to fight for your nation, man. Uh, well, not well, not for your nation, for the elect. Mm -hmm. You're going to fight for the elect, man. Okay. My servant, whom I have chosen, my beloved, and whom my soul is well pleased, I will put my spirit upon him, and he shall show judgment to the Gentiles. And that's basically clarifying what you know he was saying, man. Like we're out here to you know basically teach and, 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 and serve judgment to. Uh, go ahead. I have to preach up with that. Okay. But yeah, like you're saying, man, we're out here to you know the Lord put His Spirit upon us to do this, man. Basically, to teach His to teach His word, man. You know, and to show uh, the, 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 the the nations and as well as Israel, you know, his judgment. That's right. It's a lot. Uh, that's history, right? So how can you say history is done away with when history is still with us? History is with us today, bro. History is with us today. How? Niggas looking at that. You probably thinking like, how? Because uh, history always repeats itself, man. Uh, ain't Jake getting treated like he was back in the 70s and the 80s? I mean, the, the uh, 60s? Mm -hmm. Except it ain't, uh, it ain't like the Atlanta slave trade, but Jake ain't getting fair treatment as far as the court system. Because back in that time, Jake didn't get treated fair, fair in the court system as well. They like to, they, 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 they fucking, he saw a fucking Put the death penalty on a 14 year old boy that they accused of murdering two white women. That was innocent. Come on, man. What can a 14 year old boy murder two grown white women, bro? Stop it, man. 
You devils got to fucking pay, man. Jake ain't Jake ain't nowhere near that case doing shit like that, bro. He, he can look at the fourteen year old boy and he can tell he was innocent, bro. That was your nation that did that, nigga. That happened in South Carolina. Yeah, yeah. That, happened in South Carolina. Yeah, God. that was your nation that did that, nigga. It's a lot. <clears throat> this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 2, and verse 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that has rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this very day. See that, man? Them and their forefathers have trans against me even to this day, man. What Jake out here doing? Jake claimed he started a battery with his bare hand. <laughs> <laughs> Jake out here talking, Jake out here, Jake out here talking about it's me. I wake myself up. Crazy. Jake out here talking about we give a dick lean contest. <laughs> Jake, Jake out here, man, Jake is fucking gone, man. And don't take no counsel of y'all about some y'all was shot, man. Jake disregard this book like it's like it's nothing, bro. But guess what? I can't wait till the Lord destroy you niggas, man. You niggas gotta be fucking destroyed, man. Okay. You niggas gotta fucking go, man. Okay. You niggas gotta fucking go, man. That's right. You niggas gotta fucking go, nigga. Y'all gotta fucking go, nigga. Y'all gotta go, man. Y'all disrespect the most high, man. This nigga Ray J sitting up here talking about I'm talking to the most high right now. Nigga, you don't even know the most high. Kendrick Lamar too. With the crown. With the crown and shit, bro. Niggas is niggas, man. Niggas gotta go, man. Put on put a thousand, thousand, thousand. Diamonds in the crown, bro. Put it on his head. And it had the blood like dripping over his face like he was the saving type shit. You niggas gotta fucking die, man. You niggas gotta fucking die, bro. You niggas gotta die, man. Horrible death, bro. I hope the Lord put horrible deaths upon y'all, bro. This is Acts 7 and 51. What the brother was saying about you wicked um, brothers. You stiff net and uncircumcised in heart and ears. Ye do always resist the Holy Ghost, which is the Holy Spirit. As your fathers did, so do ye. That's right. And that's what Jake do, man. Jake resist the Holy Spirit. What's the Holy Spirit? What we bring out weekly. That's what we bring out weekly, man. And Jake don't care, man. Jake don't care. They don't care at all. Jay, Jay won't eat pork, but turn around and eat shrimp. <laughs> right. right. That's a lot. No, that's real. That's Jay, man. That's Jay. I don't know Jay's like that person. Well, I ain't pork, but I did eat some steak and shrimp. Right, it was a lobster. Mm -hmm. The fuck? The fuck, Jay? What? Jay, that don't make no sense, Jay. Jay can go back to the world and tell, come back to niggas. Come, come, back, come back to brothers. It's a lot. I gotta get right and worried about the Sabbath. You a wicked ass nigga, man. You a wicked ass nigga, man. What you think the Lord thinking of you, man? You think the Lord just allow niggas to come in and come out like a church house? Right. You nigga, man. Keeping, uh, keeping one commandment, as, uh, for example, keeping the Sabbath ain't gonna save you, man. That's right. God. The scriptures tell you if you fell in one, you fell in all. So, so there's really no use in trying to keep, you know, brothers get together on the Sabbath so you can probably eat or drink with brothers when we got on the Sabbath. Hit the volume button, the, the same button on the side. So, and, and a point for you to think that just because you gather when, when, when the body gathers on the Sabbath, just so, just so you can eat or drink on the Sabbath, that's not going to save you, man. You know, 
as I said earlier, the scriptures say you fell in one, you fell in all. So it's really you're really doing nothing for yourself, man. But calling yourself to get beat upon through the spirit and then still return to your wickedness, man. That's gonna be more of a testament to you in the day of wrath, man. Because the Lord's gonna show you all these times where you did come around, brother, you know, if you happen to do that, or if you try to keep a commandment, the Lord's gonna show you how in doing that, you still were a servant, man, you know. That's right. That's right. Because man, listen, man, the Lord, the Lord ain't dealing with no. He he already told you he ain't dealing with lukewarm niggas. Okay, first and foremost, then he definitely ain't dealing with no niggas that go back to the world and think they can just come back around Jake's like it's cool every other year. Bro, bro come on, man, lost your damn mind, bro. On your damn mind, bro. And I don't feel like you need to be amongst me. All the struggling I've been through. And then you can go back to the world and go back get back home. And then come around Jake talking about bragging what you just got. And they ain't did nothing for the camp. Right. Oh, oh, yeah. give, give me uh give me Luke 9. Verse 23. Well, no, I don't know what you're looking for, but if any man was constantly left in the night, I'm still going to say it's tough. Matter of fact, go back to the topic. I said it's tough. No, 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 no. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, bro. My bad. Somebody. You want to read the heart? Uh, I'm going to start back at uh, Ezekiel chapter 2 and verse 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel to a rebellious nation that has rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this very day. Verse 4. No, I, I, I would even say to you. Uh, I'm pretty sure every, every brother right here can name at least one way the children of Israel is rebelling and going against the spirit of the Lord, man. Oh, at least one way. So that, that harps on to the fact that the scripture is true, man. The children of Israel are not serving the Lord, man. And and, and no way, whether it comes to, you know, things they aspire to throughout the week, shit they go off on, you know, when the scriptures blatantly tell you, don't eat this, don't do that, don't do this, don't do that. Children of Israel are going exactly for those things, man. You know, it's evident. But, and, and the piggyback on what your brother said, it's evident because... Israel do not know the name of the Lord according to the scriptures. Mm -hmm. So how y'all worshiping Jesus? Right. Why? Oh. Yeah, right. why? <laughs> the Lord said he's going to reveal his name. Okay. He said he's going to reveal his name if you know the scriptures, you Christians. Mm -hmm. So why y'all giving a name that was just put in the Bible? Right. To the right. If a name was put in the Bible, and the Bible is contrary telling you the name will be revealed. You got to run into it. And who will know it? But see, right. the, the stumbling block is, though, it's, it's just, they don't they don't get why, why uh, the Most High allows. They don't get why the Most High allows man to change the name. So... Once they feel like, okay, so why would he why would he allow them why would he allow man to change the name and not change nothing else? So it, it basically gives them a lack of faith simply because the name was changing. The one that just one thing, the name. So they they, they they it's like they cancel out all belief in the whole book. Now. Just because, okay, but you gotta you gotta you gotta look at it like this, okay, yeah, he allowed he allowed man to tamper with the Bible, but he didn't the man didn't write the Bible, okay? Man, the, the Bible was translated by King James and other uh, scholars, you know, and the Bible was written by prophets, man. Other visions that they seen. You know, Peter Peter's talks about that. Uh, what you have to understand is that uh, the kingdom was not going to be given to us. So, yeah, we have to, 
we have to seek and search the scriptures, there's, that doesn't mean there's not going to be uh, stumbling blocks along the way, man, road bumps along the way that he's going to allow man, you know, to, to do. Because why? He's allowing Satan to have, have, have a certain amount of uh, dominion, man. And what Satan does is he creeps in and he puts little things in the in your path to steer you off of, of, of finding out about Shimei was shot. You see? So it it, it, it cancels out. Yeah, hey, I gotta say, in Ecclesiastes, all right, gun, prologue, gun, uh, gun, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gun. This is uh, the book of Ecclesiastes one, or also known as the book of Sirach, chapter one. I was trying to verse one, but I'm starting at this specific point. It says, uh, I said, uh, I'll start right here. It says, when he had much given himself to the reading of the law and, uh, and the prophets and other books of our fathers and had gotten therein good judgment, was drawn on also himself to write something pertaining to learning and wisdom to the intent that those which are desirous to learn mm -hmm. and are addicted to these things, which, which might, or it's like, might profit much more in living according to the law. Paul, okay, Paul, right there. So, so you see what the Lord basically doing? The Lord is basically sifting, right there. He's basically seeing that, seeing basically seeing the ones that is going to choose to follow him. Because he's saying, I put these things here for the ones that are desirous to learn. The ones that know his name. Exactly. So the one, but not everyone that know his name though. That's the point. Because some that know his name are going to learn from the prophet. Exactly. Most that know his name learn directly from the prophets and were still wicked. Exactly, that's, they still can be wicked. That's why yeah. uh, uh, was James he's talked about the men that's crept in on the word. Mm -hmm. You know, so he has to put he has to he has to give you the truth, but he also has to give you uh, 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 ways to follow by the way by by the power of Satan because it's balance. Right, that's balance. And then and, and the thing is the thing is um. The prophets of old know his name. Okay. How the prophets of today know his name? You see, uh, they can't see, even decipher that though. They can't can even decipher that. Luke eleven and fifty. They can't even Luke decipher that the prophets today or the prophets of old. Yeah. I got more than this too. Luke eleven and fifty. Oh, more than this too. Uh, it says also, continuing on, it says, "Wherefore let me entreat you to read with favor and attention, mm. and to pardon us." Wherein we may seem to come short of some words, mm -hmm. which we have labored to interpret. Uh. For the same thing is uttered in Hebrew and translated into another tongue, have not the same force in them. Uh. Mm -hmm. And not only these things, but the law itself and the prophets and the rest of the books have no small difference when they are spoken in their own language. See? So, uh. so the book is true. Book is true. Yes, he allowed man to tamper with the scriptures, to add things and take things out. But to the story and the message is still valid. It's still true. It's still alive. You see? But it's up to you to seek it. It's up to you to seek it. Like he said, uh, he said in Psalms, destroy the bloody and deceitful man. That's a deceitful man. The, the Esau, man. He's the one that does these things. Yes, the Lord allowed him to be on top to do that. Cause it's according to his will. Cause like 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 scripture say he already knows who his elect is. We don't know. That's why we do this thing. Mm -hmm. You got that? Luke. Yeah. This is book of Luke, chapter eleven, and verse fifty. Uh, that the blood of all the prophets, which was shed from the foundation of the world, may be required of this generation. Wow. <laughs> Read that one time. God. Ain't no get around that. God. Bro, that's reincarnation. That means the prophets is here today. Yeah. What that mean? We are his prophets. Yeah. We gotta be, man. Yeah. Read on, brother. It's the book of Luke, chapter 11, and verse 50. That the blood of all the prophets, which was shed from the foundation of the world, may be required of this generation. Read 51. From the blood of Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, which perished between the altar and the temple, verily I say unto you, it shall be required of this generation. 
Everybody that served you how about show me how was shot in these scriptures I heard today, man. Everybody, man. Everybody, bro, they they here today. And what and what and what and Ezekiel here today. And he gotta what? Go against a rebellious children, bro. He gotta go against a rebellious children. This one this one I'm getting into. Cause we are sent to a rebellious house, man. We are sent to a house that's hard heavy to the point to where Jenkins is like, man, you know what, man? Fuck these niggas, man. Fuck these niggas. Fuck these niggas, man. You know, that's what Jake is Jake, that's what Jake is sent to, man. I got a couple pretty good. Uh, you got that? Yeah. yeah. No, you got something. No, go ahead. No, I'm going to get back into the. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Um, I, wanted, uh, I wanted to read this. Acts 7 to 51 to 52. It says, You stiff neck and uncircumcised in heart and ears. You do always resist the Holy Spirit. As your fathers did, so do ye. No, but it's, it's a point I'm trying to answer. It says, verse 52 Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? As you're going into, we are the prophets, Lord will, reincarnated, which means, as the scripture said, which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted, and they have slain them which you before the coming of the just one, of whom you have been now the betrayers and murderers. So, like the point he's making, the only reason the prophets could have been reincarnated is if they did die, man. And how did they die? Because y'all were they were killed unjustly, man. They were you know? killed by Israelites, man. Exactly. Israel gave them up, man. That's a lot. Just like today. Yeah, uh, unrighteous Jake. Uh, uh, Jake is being killed by each other today, man. Just like in these scriptures. Jake is being killed by each other, man. There's nothing new under the sun, man. But this time around, the purpose ain't going to be touched, man. Even though in your eyes they may look like they've been touched, they're gonna come back, bro. Come right back, bro. Like they ain't been touched. Okay, well, I'm not sure how they that when they think they uh they they die. Um I'm not gonna lie, is that when hold on, read what I gave you. I don't remember exactly what I got. Romans ten and fourteen. It says, how then should they call on him in whom they have not believed? And that's what I was going into, yeah. how the prophets are still today, man. If the prophets and the Lord, Lord aren't brought back again, how, as the scripture said, how then are y'all going to hear and believe? Read again from the top of the show. How then should they call on him in whom they have not believed? Mm -hmm. And how should they believe in him of whom they have not heard? Mm -hmm. And how should they hear without a preacher? Verse 15. So that was the point. And how should they hear without a preacher? Those preachers and those that you learn from are the prophets, man. They're the ones who the Lord is dealing with to bring out the true wisdom of the understanding. So if y'all, as the scripture said, if y'all have killed them that prophesied of the coming of the just one, how the hell are y'all going to learn how to believe in these times, man? The Lord's going to bring them back, you know? Going on to the... The, the point of what I was bringing out, man. The Lord is going to bring those spirits back so that y'all can hear the preacher, although y'all are still not going to believe, man. You know? That, that was the point. What's that scripture you say, though they think they be dead? He's talking about the prophets. Yeah, time, those, time. Though they, they, they seem to die in their sight. Yeah, they're still living. That's what I'm talking about. Well, yeah. well, the well, second edges? Yeah, second edges. I, I can help out with top grab with quick. When it said their end is better, or something it's along the lines I know what you're talking about. Um, uh, uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Dang, I just read that like not too long ago, bro, earlier this week. Oh no, when was all in three and two? I see it right now. Okay, okay. Yeah, when was all? I know it was in the pocket. Yeah, it's in the pocket. Well, it was on the three and two. You really started one, too. But, but two, verse two is the point. When was on the three? So, two. Yeah, three and two. Three and two. Yeah, three and two is the point. Uh, three. Kind of, but the souls, of, uh, the souls of, of the righteous are in the hands of Yahweh, and they shall the torment touch them. And the sight of the unwise, uh, 
besides the unwise, they seem to die and the departure is taken from misery. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, verse 3 yeah. And they're and they're and they're he break down there. And they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. Exactly. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. Yeah, they are oh, <laughs> <laughs> really? I start think. back from the top. Yeah, yeah kind of Okay, thing. okay. Wisdom of Solomon three that's from the top, but the souls of the righteous are in the hands of Yahweh. Kind that that even goes to even all the, the scriptures that they, they describe in the Old Testament, so called man. When you got Daniel in the den, you got the three holy children in the the, the furnace of fire, man. You you got uh, Elijah being delivered from death, man. All all these different stories that go into how the Lord has preserved His servants, man. It says they're in the hand of the Lord. Why? Because He always delivers them. You even got Enoch. Which people don't really mention as much in truth, you know, the man himself, not the fictional books that they got in this world, but yeah. these are true accounts that the Lord delivered his service from death, man. Mm -hmm. uh, and there shall no torment touch them. Mm -hmm. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die. Right, why? Because you don't see them here. You can't point out where your house is in the earth. Mm -hmm. You can't point out even where Daniel and Elijah and Moses and mm -hmm. Abraham are. But guess what? It says, their departure is taken for misery, and, and verse three says, and they're just, and they're going for, they're going from us to be utter destruction. But they're in peace, man. They're really talking about the the, the heavens, man. Mm -hmm. They're in paradise, you know, where where all truth is, where they don't nobody suffers. Everybody knows who the, who the wicked are. Everybody knows who Israel is. It's perfect up there, man. They're in peace, but y'all think they're suffering? Ain't no hell, man. This is the cut for the hell doctrine, you know. And there's no, there's no after, after where you go to where you burning forever, in, in flames, man. Right. It's a paradise once you perish from here, man. Yeah. But guess what? The Lord said His prophets are still gonna be here, even in the last days, man. Right. You know. He you got took care of. Kind. No matter, dude. No matter if it's righteous or unrighteous. He said that, that right line too. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. You gotta keep going. Yeah. I got, I got a scripture for that. Yeah. What is he said? Said they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, such as the faithful and love shall provide them for grace and mercy to his saints he had cared for his life. Yeah, and then and uh, I got a scripture upon upon that be, because the unrighteous will take care of the elect. Um uh this is Luke 16 and 9. And I say unto you, make make to you, make to yourself friends of mammon of unrighteousness, that when ye fail, they that uh, that when ye fail, they may receive into everlasting, everlasting inhabitants, bro. So what does that mean, bro? That mean like, bro, you can, you, you gonna, you, the elect gonna have friends that's unrighteous that got money, bro. That's gonna do for Jay, bro. And I have been in that position, bro. That's how I know, like, bro, man, can't nobody tell me that the Lord ain't dealing with Jay. Bro, can't nobody tell because everything that went through my life has been according to the scriptures. Even even when even when even when even when um even when I was at my lowest point, he was giving me scriptures. Even when I, when I was at my, my lowest point. So I didn't want to see no scriptures. He was giving me scriptures describing what I was going through, bro. Like Jake, look, he was like, look, Jake, this is what you're going through, man. You know, this is what this is what's happening to you right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just stay strong and endure, bro. Verse five. Verse five. Yeah, verse five going to do what he said. Oh, kind of, kind of. Yeah, going and enduring. Like you said, we catch, you know, we catch hell. Yeah, he's still um, getting it. Huh. Verse five says, uh, Wisdom Psalm three, verse five says, and having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. And, and even in, in this lot, as it said, even though brothers describe it as all fucking hell, man, you asking right now, nigga, we going through it. The scriptures, you know, the spirit of the Lord said we've been a little chastised, man. Mm -hmm. According to the spirit. That means According even to in the prophets. The, yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. That means even in our trouble, the Lord still been making ways for us. Like he's attesting to, man. Mm -hmm. uh, we all can say the same thing. Mm -hmm. We ain't get us fucked up as much as we think we can. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said upon that, even if he did, that still would have been life, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It says, for, for Yahweh approved them and found them worthy for himself. 
mm. as gold in the furnace has he tried them sure. and received them as a burnt offering. You know, mm. and, and we, we always talk about how we're living sacrifices, man. Mm. You know, you see, the, the, like, like he was talking about how the, the, the ones that rebel, man, they don't have, they're not going to have that, that, that uh, opportunity to be tried, man. Sure. You know, they're either going to be given the truth and they accept it or take and take it and take heed or they're not, man. They're going to be utterly destroyed for it, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because Israel is a rebellious house, man. You can, you can tell Israel not supposed to be eating pork. They're going to eat it anyway. We tell Israel we we, we not supposed to be eating live crops and shrimp. Man, they're going to eat it anyway. Man, Israel ain't willing to sacrifice shit, man. God. Israel ain't, willing, Israel ain't willing to sacrifice their own dollar. Israel, Israel ain't willing to sacrifice their kids. Israel ain't willing to sacrifice a polo shirt. Israel ain't willing to sacrifice a pair of J's, man. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being dead ass serious. Oh, no, I am too, Jay. Jay. <laughs> His righteous to offer ourselves up, man. You know, that's the difference between bullshit niggas and sacrifices, between you know, righteous sacrifices and living sacrifices, man. Nigga, what can you do to a what can you do to a brother that's ready to go? What can Esau do to him? Nothing. Hey, I've been ready to go for the Lord, man. I'm ready, bro. I, I, that's ten toes down, nigga. That's fact. I'm ten toes down for y'all with shot, bro. Ain't nothing Esau can do to me that's going to break me, bro. Not through your house shot, bro. No, ain't nothing Esau can do to me, man. I've been ready to go for your house shot, man. I've been ready. I've been tired of this place, man. I've been tired of this place since what? Uh-uh, 2016. <laughs> at least. At least. Nah, at least, bro. Been tired of this place, man. But the Lord brought me this brother to keep on doing then I found all these brothers. And it's a beautiful thing that the Lord keep finding brothers. You know what I'm saying? That's why he gives them a body. Man. Huh, it's a beautiful thing that he keep finding brothers amongst brothers, man. But at the same time, man, niggas ready to go. Uh -huh. <laughs> they ready to go. Uh -huh. They ready for this shit to go. I know the Lord probably waking up more brothers. Hey, call the Lord, y'all about to show y'all shout. We gotta wake up Israel. You're late. God, he's late. Yeah. You're late. You rebellious ass niggas, man. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta wake up. God damn God. Century. We gotta go. <laughs> nigga time, nigga time, I see it happening. Right. Jake, yeah, Jake, you gotta die. You gotta fucking die. You gotta fucking die. Yeah, how the fuck the kingdom gonna be the scariest? That's how we know you don't know the scriptures. Uh -huh. The scriptures tell us heaven is gonna be the beautifulest thing on earth, bro. And then he also said, he said, you know, uh, when she said, she said, how was that? He's like, I've experienced heaven before. He said, how? She said, how was what, what, what they call heaven? He said, yeah. He said, yeah. how you may uh, interpret the heaven to be? Huh. It was the scariest thing in my life. Yeah. And, and this the same nigga that said he told the Lord, if you gotta come back, he'll wait. If you gotta come back as a nigga, he'll, he'll wait. wait. Man, he don't wanna come back as a nigga. It's the same nigga same that, same. That, that said, 
he 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 he'll fuck his wife with another man. Oh man. The same nigga that said I fucked my cousin, they told me I wanna stop him. Oh boy! <laughs> the same, the same nigga that said I'm Muslim, but I got an Indian Indian in me now. I got the night hawk cock in my head. Yeah, we ain't out here with us. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that is so crazy. The same nigga that said we got dick wings. Contest. He is gone. The same nigga that said don't want to come back as a nigga, but nigga mean king. Yeah, and, then and that's had, why I call myself B O N. And he had it what? right. Wrong. Big, 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 Basically, yeah, bro. He, he's, he's interpreting uh, Niger, Niger and Negus wrong. God, right. Negus, oh, yeah. N-E-G-U-S. That's a different right. word. That's a different, different word. word, different language. Yeah. Yeah. When you take Niger, yes, it goes back to black. When you Niger take Negus, goes back to black. Negus yeah. goes back to And Negus. Niger yeah. was stuck with the scriptures was calling the Southern Kingdom niggas, yeah. bro. Right. Yeah, exactly. That's what they did in Rome. They called them Nigers, bro. Why? Because what? They were black, bro. Bro, you niggas are fucking gone, man. Gone. Yeah, you niggers. Gone. gone. Straight niggers. Niggas. Niggers. Niggas mean king. God. What the fuck is wrong with you? What, man? Oh. Same nigga that same nigga. Oh. Battery with his brother. Yeah. Nobody oh, gotta be put to death, oh. man. Niggas gotta be put to fucking God. death. Yeah. Reprobate. I told her. Reprobate. Put my hand on the battery. And it's thought, man. I know it's thought. And it's thought, little man. Hey, then he said, he said, he said, he said, he said, I wish I never told no one. No, no, no. He said, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 don't what? tell nobody. Say, why are you telling somebody? Yeah, 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 hold on. Academics <laughs> pulled a star and said, you ain't start nobody with your bare hands. <laughs> they said, man, I did. If I didn't, may the Lord kill my kids. Yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jake, oh, so the Lord, the Lord will definitely kill yeah, them. Yeah, gonna right, they, not right now. Yeah, not right now. Yeah, not right now. Not right now. Right now. But they definitely gonna die in that damn rap. Uh, they definitely gonna die in that damn rap. It might be soon the way these rappers are getting judged. No, yeah, man, man, man. Uh, all, all of Israel getting all judged. judged. Uh, all of Israel getting judged. Even in uh, women. These women getting judged more than Jake. Yeah, bro, yeah, these yeah. women. Y'all women today, bro? Y'all are fucking done, bro. Uh, uh, the Lord is judging y'all at y'all job. The Lord is judging y'all on the street. Gonna allow y'all to be knocked out by man. Uh, Y'all don't need no man. I don't need no man, right? Y'all don't, right? He started knocking y'all the fuck out. I don't know. I don't know how to say that. And then, nigga, and then, nigga, let me be in a situation where Zion get knocked out and they tell me I ain't gonna do nothing. You know what I'm gonna say? You don't need no fucking man. Right. You don't need no fucking man. No, I was, say, no, I was about to say, uh, like that WNBA player, man, she got walked out of practice. As soon as she walked out on the street, oh, like yeah. the, the homeless man just came. Homeless man came yeah. and yeah. Yeah. out. Yeah. Hey, she went back to the inside and had an eye was like this. Nigga, done. <laughs> so done. That's the Lord. Bro. The Lord, the Lord ain't hurt. playing with you, nigga. With me, bro. Yeah, you, know, you know, most of the WNBA women, they be, they be gay. Yeah, by Brittany Griner. They, uh, you know what I'm saying? They be on that other, yeah. you know, D-A-Y, I ain't even saying. Yeah, yeah. 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 I got something else for, for you women that got, that, that that's what Israelite men, and y'all y'all rebelling, but y'all know, and y'all see in the truth, mm. Lord got something for y'all too, man. Y'all gonna get the worst way. Lord got something for y'all too, man. The Lord, either the Lord gonna kill y'all, or we gonna humble y'all down to the point to where they gonna bust down another woman in your face. Uh, point blank period. A, wom- a woman that, 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 that submissive. Yeah. And, uh, and, 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 and you, 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 you have another woman take your place. You have another woman take your place while you just sitting on the side. Why you just sitting on the side. That's a fact, man. And those times are coming, man. Those times are coming. You better get in line or get out of line. Yeah, I told you, I told you. Yeah, 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 that's all I can say, bro. That's all I can say, bro. If the woman ever ever leave and the Lord bring righteous women towards us, then those righteous women gonna be put first. Bro, bro, of course. 
And the, 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 the women know that's in Jake Lives know, bro. They know. They see the blessings and they know, bro. They know. The, the, the spiritual ones. I won't even say spiritual. I just say the ones that the Lord allowed to see, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Allowed to yeah, see. Yeah, Give them an yeah, eye. God. Some type of eye. God. Some type of eye to see, like, oh, this nigga, he is some type of righteous, but fuck that nigga, man. He always hanging with them niggas. He always chilling with them niggas. He, he he put more money into them niggas than his family. And those women see, bro. But they don't understand the movement of Jake and why he do it. They don't understand the movement of Jake and why he do it. What you say, brother? No, I said slow. Yeah, it's nothing to say. No, no I was just <laughs> doing that what the brother was saying. Like, add on to what he was saying. That's it. Okay, add. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm saying you got good. Nah, he was saying some more saying yeah, he's good. I was just yeah, yeah, he's good, bro. That's what I was talking about. He's good. Yeah, they don't understand the movement of Jake. That's what that 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 that's a that's a that's a big thing that women don't understand about this truth. They don't understand the truly brotherhood. Just like Jake's outside in the world don't understand this brotherhood. Bro. They don't understand this brotherhood, bro. They don't understand this brotherhood. Jake don't understand why Jake a motherfucker come out of his pocket three four hundred dollars and just turn around and give it to Jake. Duh. And then and then and then and then Jake be like, he ain't gonna give it back to you. And then you tell Jake, I don't expect it back. Duh. And then Jake don't understand that. What? 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 You gonna do that? Well, I wish I had somebody like that with me. No, you're never gonna have nobody like that with you. Because you wicked as fuck. That's right, right. Wicked as fuck. You understand the Lord. Yeah. That's how the world works, man. Huh. They put spirits on brothers. They put spirits on brothers to do. The Lord put spirit on brothers to do sincerely, bro. That's the kind. That's bro. Sincerely, bro. Sincerely, bro. And you, 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 you can motherfucking sit here and give somebody twenty, fifty, sixty dollars. That ain't shit. You turn around and motherfucking and bring a sacrifice to a brother. That's the Lord, man. And the Lord gonna take care of you, bro. What he say? Charity. It covers sins, bro. Charity covers sins, bro. God, bro. Charity covers sins, nigga. Fine, bro. So all the sin that you doing outside of camp, what you 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 got niggas that ain't even righteous outside of camp. Niggas don't little do they know. Charity will cover that, bro. I got you. Charity, because why? It's another righteous brother that you're giving to that's going to do righteous by that, bro. That's right. The Lord is going to weigh that. Exactly. He's going to weigh that in balance, bro. Mm -hmm. He's going to weigh that in balance, bro. And all you brothers that's putting your women first in, uh, in camp. Oh, you're done. You're done, bro. Uh -huh. Or yourself. Or yourself, exactly. Or yourself, bro. Because you know why? This is a camp amongst the Lord, bro. It's not a camp amongst uh, yourself. Or your woman. Or your woman. <laughs> right. What he saying is he also, uh, my, no, at the exit, I think my flock is men. God. Right. You know how many sacrifices, you know how many, you know how many sacrifices and arguments I had to put, go through with this brother? Many. Many. And I told that woman, I'm not moving. I want to teach this man anytime he come through. I don't give a fuck if it's a rock sleepy or not. You gotta deal with it. Point blank period. And do your how about shimmy out of shop. Raise him up to be who he is today. Shit. Nigga, I nigga, I don't give a fuck about a motherfucking woman telling me niggas gotta go or it's too late. No, no, no. No, 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 I no ain't no no, ain't no right. No, I actually did it, nigga. Actually did it, nigga. Actually did it, nigga. Lord, Yahweh, my witness. He's my witness. Actually did it, nigga. God, you my witness as well, bro. Actually did it, nigga. God, actually did it, nigga. Kind, bro. Ain't nobody going nowhere till they get understanding. God. And then what did I do? I had to hear it all week. But guess what? 
Hey. 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 I don't give a fuck what the fuck I go through through this shit, bro. I'm gonna still do it, bro. Because I love you how. I love you how by shimmy out a shot, bro. That's a big difference, bro. Yeah, I love these brothers as well, bro. I will die for these brothers, man. These brothers may not be sincere as as that to me towards me. Some brothers. But hey, <laughs> hey, but hey, if they're not, the Lord will deal with it. I'm gonna deal with it, but myself personally, bro, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna I'm take my life. I'm gonna I'm give my life for the brothers, bro. Like any ideas, uh, you know? To... I'm gonna give my life for the brothers, bro. Are you guys still on that charity? No, let's. Uh, I'm gonna wait to the rebellion. Yeah, yeah, back to back the yeah. Uh, Isaiah 65 and two. Yeah, Isaiah 65 and two. I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people. Which walketh in a way that was not good. Uh, see what you said. A rebellious people which walketh in a way that was not good. What? After their own thoughts. Hey, after their own thoughts. After their own thoughts, man. Mm. You see? And that's how Israel that's how Israel walk amongst amongst, amongst uh, uh Babylon today, man. After their own thoughts, their own imaginations. Even Israel, amongst given. Kind. Their own uh, wicked thoughts, man. Like he says in Isaiah 55, my thoughts are not your thoughts, man. You know? Right. Cause he doesn't uh Psalms, I think five says your how doesn't take pleasure in wickedness, man. God. Oh, bro. You see? So he sent us to a rebellious nation, man. Knowing that we were gonna have these trouble. Rebels. Exactly. Knowing trouble. that we we're gonna have trouble and vexation, man. Trouble. Heavy vexation. But that goes into being a living sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Go to being living sacrifice because we're sent to rebellious children that ready to kill us on sight, like they did the prophets. That's right. But we're a living sacrifice, love, brother. Yeah. Um, damn, wait. Jeremiah 5 and 23. Um, but this people have a revolting and a rebellious heart. And we know that heart means mind in the scriptures. So they have a revolting and rebellious mind. So reprobate, man. You know, they they naturally neglect and reject, um, reject the Lord, man. They love something, but they reject the true power. God. And it says they are revolted and gone. Verse 24, neither say they they in their heart, let us now fear the Lord our power. See? They don't they don't consider to reverence the Lord. They don't consider to respect or fear the Lord's commandments, uh, the Lord's ordinances, or his men. Uh, especially his men. Uh, especially uh, his men. Uh, they didn't fear even in the days of old, when the Lord sent this prophet, they were scared. They were like, whoa, whoa. What happened now? What did we do? You know what I'm saying? But, 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 even when they sent Moses, they still rebelled against Moses. Moses left them niggas. Them niggas, Moses came back. It was partying with a big old gold of Moses, bro. They wanted a king, but they, did, they had the true king of the whole earth. They had a true king of the whole earth, but Israel wanted to replica a king for themselves, bro, like other nations. Right. They had a king that make flowers grow out the earth. <laughs> but Israel wanted a man king. Yeah. That's how stupid you niggas is. You niggas are fucking stupid, man. You niggas had a, a, a king that could move the heavens and the earth. You niggas wanted a man king. <laughs> what, what, 
You can't. Or, or just molten idols. You can't, yeah. you know, they made. You can't right. explain this shit, man. You can't explain this shit, man. Uh, I can lie to get it, man. Uh, you had a king that dropped manna from the heavens. It said angels bring it. Dang. But you still wanted a man king. Man, boy, man. Ain't no telling how good man is. Boston. And they love bread. Yeah. They love bread just like they love chicken, bro. Ain't no telling how good it is. Yeah. 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 In his season, he reserves unto us the appointed weeks of the harvest. Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholding good things from you. you see, and your sins have withhold good things from you. See that? But Jake think just because he making money and got millions, he's blessed. Right. That's not being blessed, nigga. You know what being blessed is? Nations bowing to you, to your nation. You're ruling over a nation. That's being blessed, man. Okay? Jake not blessed having a couple million. You know why? Because Jake got to look. Jake got to spend half a million on his family. Yeah. Just for them to get right. And, for them to leave and, then, and then Jake got to take that other half a million and get him a crib. And, and make sure his family right. And he happy. Done. Bring them in. And then Jake got to take that last million and motherfucker sit up here and do whatever he want with it. Make him happy. Buy clothes, cars, shoes, jewelry. Still ain't going to be happy. And then that other half a meal, Jake going to look to invest. But hell, what can you invest in that? Uh, 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 what? Uh, 500000 You're done. You're done. You're done, bro. You're done. Because why? You done spent all your money on making everybody else happy amongst you that's been under the curses. That's been under the curses, bro. That's why, like, bro, you can't do for nobody truly unless they in the truth. Brothers that's in the truth, you can do for them and they understand how to do with money the best way they can, bro. The best way they can, bro. Doing for niggas that's out of truth, bro. They want to splurge and do the do whatever the fuck they want to do to look good in Babylon. Mm -hmm. They're gonna spend it towards wickedness, bro. Exactly, like the brother said, wickedness, bro. Can't expect a, a, a blessing to come if you if you're a wicked. You can't expect a blessing to come from a righteous man. You know what I'm saying? Period. Really. You know, you can be blessed in wickedness, but I mean, that, that's that you gotta look at who the weight weight the balance of who you're serving. You know, as far as your actions in this world, you being a carnal being, you following the traditions of, of, of men. You know, serving uh, follow, uh serving either serving mammon and, and all the materialistic things out here, man. You, you there's no good things that are gonna come from. Yeah, you might, like the scripture said in wisdom and style, he does say it all the time, yet they live long, uh, but they die quickly. Mm -hmm. Something like that, so there's no hope, roughly paraphrasing. That's right, yeah, man. Yeah, right. There's no hope for them. Hey, right, that's they're, right. They're, they're living long and happy now. Right. Mm -hmm. Like he said, uh, as much as receive benefits in this life, in second yeah, Edwards, it's, same, it's the same, same thing, bro. You know, right. so you might, you might, you might think, that you having a good life, you living good, but the end of that, the end of that is going to be terror. Exactly. <laughs> hey, because, terror. Matter of fact, the end of Wisdom of Solomon 3 uh, okay. says, uh, terror. Uh, but the end of the unrighteous nation, uh, generation. Uh, 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 so uh, like, uh, verse 19. Kind of it says, Wisdom of Solomon 3 19. For terror. horrible is the end of the unrighteous generation. Kind of. For horrible is the end of the unrighteous generation. So and who's the unrighteous generation? That's Israelites. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Israelites, man. I'm finished this verse. Yeah, man. Um, verse 26. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he set of snares. They set a trap. They catch men. And what? Uh, T.D. Jakes? 
Buffalo Dollar, mm -hmm. NBA Young Boy, mm -hmm. uh, influence, bro. King Von, mm -hmm. Von. Uh, 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 Lil Dirt, Dirt, Lil Baby, Lil Baby, yeah, all of them, all of them, bro. Kevin Gates, Kevin Gates, yeah, yeah, <laughs> he's top tier, yeah, yeah, he's top tier, he's top tier, he's top tier, he's top tier two thirds, he's top tier two thirds, motherfucking uh, 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 uh my boy. <laughs> Church is full. Uh, hey, they oh oh. They say TDJ Church half the population went down when he started talking about homosexuals. Uh, God, God, yeah, bro, God, yeah. yeah. Now, now you want to convert the church? Right, right. It's too <laughs> late, nigga. Yeah. It's too uh, late, nigga. It's too late, nigga. Uh, You're done. And, and, um, put death. and uh uh TD Jake's church, when he started talking about the black woman, his whole congregation left. Yeah, that's what I'm talking oh, about. That's talking about, 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 about the black yeah, woman. Black woman. Yeah. It's a lot, it's a lot. Yeah, Not the gay, but the black woman. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, his congregation went down, bro. God. God. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. God. And, and hey, bro, you're done. That's the Lord bringing these churches to an end, bro. They're bringing these churches to an end, bro. That's a fact, bro. It's a lot. It says, therefore, they are become great and waxing rich. They are fact. They are waxing fat. They shine, yet they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause because of the fatherless. Yet they prosper in the right of the needy. Do they not judge? Shall I not visit these things, saith uh, Yahweh? Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? Should it be? <laughs> Should he punish this nation? <laughs> Shouldn't But, 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 but you niggas, all you niggas think is the Lord wouldn't do nothing to a people he love like that. Yeah. He wouldn't do nothing. How the fuck he gonna, how the fuck he gonna judge his people then? It's a perfect example, like we always use with our children. If you don't love your child, you're not gonna correct them. Bro, but if you if you love your child, you're gonna correct. correct. And that, that's what the Edomites do. They sit around and let these kids do whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, but but hey, Israel doing it today. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Hey, you know what? Uh, for instance, I, I chastise my kids. But when they say different words or uh, words that that don't apply to Babylon today, like bitch, dumb bitch. They say it in the right category, I won't punish them. Because you know why? That's how they feel. That's how they feel. That's how they feel. Personally, yeah, that's how they feel, bro. And he know how to say it in the right context. Yes, he He know the right time. He know the right time and the context. If somebody do something stupid, yeah, bro. Especially if you know what? I'm not going to punish him for that, bro. Because you know what? He's right. He's right, man. He's right. And you know what? It's crazy to say a two-year-old is right in that context, bro. It's crazy. But hey, that's what I do with my kids, bro. They know and they know they know better and they know not, bro. They know better and they know not, bro. I do punish my kids, bro. But bro, if if it's in the right time and they know what to say, I'm gonna let it fly. You know why? Because they see me let it fly in the right time, bro. They see me let it fly in the right time. Who am I to tell them fuck is a bad word? When they use it in the right context, bro. Bro, oh, hey, listen, man. My kids ain't stupid, man. My man, period, bro. My kids ain't stupid. I didn't raise them to be stupid, man. 
So if, if they use those words, I'm not going to tell them this bad. I'm going to tell them, no, don't use it at that time. No, don't use it at that time. Use it at this time, this time, this time. But don't use it all the fucking time. <laughs> you understand me? You're allowed to use it, but don't abuse it. Yep. Okay? You're allowed to use it, but don't abuse it, man. And that's what I'm going to teach my kids. I don't give a fuck what you think in these fucking United States of fucking thieving America, bro. Yeah. Give a fuck what you think about that shit, nigga. My kids going to be able to say what the fuck they want to say respectfully. In the right way. Yeah. If they want to say it, bro. Well, I mean, Pierre, I'm not going to hold my kids from not saying none of that shit, bro. Because your language is not our language. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all gave us this shit. What are you saying? Uh, what are you saying? Uh, what is it? Generation of vipers? Yeah. 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 Generation yeah. of vipers. Yeah. 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 Apparently that meant something yeah. serious. Yeah. 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 That was a yeah. 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 curse word. You know what I'm saying? That was a so-called curse word. Curse. In the days of old. Just like a Zion bitch gave us the wrong grocery. My little man turned around and said, you dumb bitch. Am I wrong for correcting him? No. I'm not wrong. Because we trying to go. <laughs> we trying to go and this bitch get smart with us. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord allowed him to say, you dumb bitch. Hey, the bitch got smart with us at first. The Lord allowed him to say that? It is what it is. I'm going to let it fly. <laughs> I'm going to let it fly. I'm going to let it fly. I'm going to let it fly, bro. I'm going to let it fly. Hey, call off. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Don't say it no more. Yeah. <laughs> say it one time. That's it. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it is what it is, bro. That's what Zion, that, Zion, Zion gets smart about upon her own child. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy, bro. But it is what it is, man. Get back to it. Uh, to the floor. Wow. Now you're right, four. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 2, and verse 4. For they are impudent children and stiff hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus said the Lord thy God, Yahweh thy power. Verse 5. And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house. See that? Whether they for here or whether they for bear, they are a rebellious house, man. So the Lord, man, the Lord is sitting right here telling us, like, bro, we're, I'm sending. He's talking to Ezekiel. But this is twofold, according to us today. You see it spiritually. He's sending us to a rebellious house, man. A house that don't want to listen. That want to rebel. And this is what we got to deal with. We got to deal with. We got to go to the plow. Dealing with. Inner ass Negroes. That want to save Esau. That want to. They, they, listen. Jake main. Jake main argument. Is saving Esau. That's Jake main argument. Jake don't care about nothing that we can tell Jake. Jake, you're going to have fresh water. You're going to have fresh air, Jake. Jake, you're going to have motherfucking steaks cut up in front of you. <laughs> and, and then grilled in front of you. Cut livestock cut in front of you. And then we season it. And you're going to have it right in front of you, Jake, ready to cook in front of you. You know all Jake can think of? What, 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 what about Esau? <laughs> Is he going to be right there with us? That's all Jake think of. Jake, all this, all this rape, robbing, murdering this man did. Y'all want to save this man, bro? Still. Y'all don't even want to save motherfucking uh, East India. Let's say them, they got some good rice and A and boy A. <laughs> <laughs> Let's help say Boaz. <laughs> and tell them don't bring the rat. Right. And the, and the cat. And the cat. And the dog. And the dog. And the mouse. And the mouse. <laughs> Just bring the arrows and the rice. <laughs> we accept you. Definitely going to make it. Yeah. 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 But they want to 
want to bring Esau, the old murderer. <laughs> they want to bring the murderer of the earth, bro. The cancer of the earth. The cancer of the earth, bro. They want to bring it straight to our kingdom, bro. Like, like them jakes who say that police officer. Oh, oh yeah. 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 That shit through. Yeah. That shit through. That's Jake, man. Go ahead. I got that word too. Um, impudent uh, in the blue letter. The Hebrew word is kwasha, uh, which goes into stubborn. And, and impudent Beautiful. going into to the spirit of Israel, Beautiful. man. Being mm-hmm. stubborn, hard headed, man. Yeah. Beautiful. Out, Beautiful, brother. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, verse 5. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 2, and verse 5. Uh, and they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there had been a prophet among them. Verse 6. Damn, what? Yet shall know that there had been a prophet among, among them. them. And how would they know that in the latter in days, bro? Uh, they would know that in the latter. And that time, too. Uh, that time, too. That time, too. Because the Lord, the Lord had something done to Israel in that time, too, bro. <laughs> so, hey, it, it's twofold, man. It's many. The Bible is many fold, nigga. It's not just one fold. It's many fold, nigga. Understand that, bro. The Bible is many fold, man. And you can't get around it. Why? Because history is with us today, bro. And the Bible is a strictly history book. And history is with us today. How is history with us today? That's what a lot of y'all want to think of. Oh, this nigga saying history is with us today. How is history, history is with us today? Look at the court system. Mm-hmm. Look at Jake just driving amongst himself with his hair out by himself. Hair all out, beard all out. Jake just driving. Let a little bride by a state troop. So, so you're done. You're done. Let Jake, let, let, let Jake, let Jake do something. That's unsuspicious. That, that, that's suspicious to a so-called white cop, bro. You're being stereotyped, bro. So what did that what where did that come from? History, right? right. From Jake's being free as slaves, and then they coming upon them like, you know what? We free y'all, but we about to hammer down on y'all. Bullshit amongst us right now, man. You think Jake can handle more bullshit? No, I no, I'm done. I can't, bro. I can't. I can't, bro. No, I'm done. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's no more tolerance, bro. No more tolerance, bro. It's no more, bro. It's no more tolerance, man. Fuck this shit, man. It's no more tolerance, man. And if niggas ain't sincere, they gotta go. Some more tolerance, bro. It's a lot. Go ahead. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 2, and verse 6. And thou, son of man, be not afraid of them, neither be afraid of their words, though briars and thorns be with thee. And thou dost dwell among scorpions. See that? See that? Though briars and thorns be with thee, and thou dwell among scorpions. That's the Israelites that come against us, bro. That's right. 
come against us with, with, with soothing words and, and words that 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 may hurt that may hurt our spirit. But but you gotta you you gotta have a strong enough spirit to disregard that shit, bro. You gotta have a strong enough spirit to disregard that, bro. Why? Because listen, man, I was always taught, man. When I came up, man, I came up as a thorough ass Jake, bro. And I went when 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 Jake brought me up, I was always taught words don't mean shit until a nigga put his hands on you. So a nigga can say what the fuck he wanna say. Cause he's entitled to that. He has a mouth. He has a mouth, bro. He's entitled to that. But when we fall into what a nigga say. That's us drawing emotion to that man, bro. He won. Yeah, that's us drawing emotion to that. And we're not supposed to have emotions, bro. We're not supposed to have emotions. But when that nigga lay a hand on us, that's when we ready to go. Only emotions. That's when we ready to go. That's when we ready to go. That's when we ready to go. So a nigga can say what the hell he want about me and my camp, bro. I don't give a fuck, bro. Fuck you, nigga. If you feel that strong enough, come lay a hand on us. <laughs> come lay a hand on us, bro. If you feel that strong, come lay a hand on Jace, bro. That's facts, bro. That's facts. Come lay a hand on Jace, bro. Those briars and thorns. Nah, it's spirit, man. Nah, Those briars and thorns be with thee, and thou dost dwell among scorpions. Be not afraid of their words, nor be dismayed at their looks, though they are. Not afraid of the word or their looks, man. So we're not supposed to fear nothing you niggas say or the way you niggas look. We know, brother. Yeah, especially Esau. But he's mainly talking about Israel. He's mainly talking about Israel in the scripture. Why? Because Israel is a fucking scary people. And weird people. <laughs> towards their own people. Towards their own people, bro. We don't fear Esau. We got to fear our own, bro. We got to fear our own. For real, bro. This is facts. Nice. This is facts, nice, bro. We got to fear our own. Because our own will come to us like a lamb. Man, man, I love y'all, man. Y'all, man, y'all out there telling the white folks y'all the devil. And then, you, you know what? Next Saturday, I got a whole two Julio bottles for y'all. We're going to kick it. We're going to do all this. <laughs> man, Jake, man, Jake, do all this. Invite Jake in. They turn around, stab Jake in their back, bro. Uh -huh. Well, it's our own, bro. Esau not going to join with us. Or, 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 it'd be some, or it'd be something similar for Jake to not want to convert. Yeah. Oh, we can't get lined up. It's our own we got to worry about. It ain't even Esau. We know Esau. Esau ain't going to join Jake. No. Oh, y'all hate us? Right, right. <laughs> You know what? I'm just gonna go this way. You gonna you gonna go that way? Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. It's Jake. You gotta worry about. It's Jake. It's Jake. You gotta worry about. Well, why? Because in the scriptures, Jake got Jake killed. Shit. It wasn't Esau. They were around Esau to give Jake up to Esau. Nigga. Go ahead, bro. I was gonna add that to, to a point of history too, because a lot of people just think that the Hamites is the only one that sold Israelites into slavery. It was Esau, Hamites, and our own people too. Yeah. They was warring with each other even Ishmael before, even well. during the Revolution. Ishmael, 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 too. Yeah, Ishmael too. Yeah, mm -hmm. our own people going. And I forgot forward. about that trade. What? What's that trade called again? It's the rape. The silk, the silk No, no. no. Well, that's it's a name for it. I don't know. I don't know. But but it's separate. But no, no. Like for real, I know. I know. One is the Silk Road. They took. They were saying it was just Silk. Their Arabs are taking Jakes during the Silk Road too.
the yeah, money, the slave true. trade, the Arab Muslim slave trade. Okay. It's cost something else. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know the Silk Road is one though, for sure. They just said so it's spices, but Jake's was being sold. That too. that that was Israel. Yeah, yeah. Being right. trying to being they was trying to transform Israel into Muslims, bro. Kind. Of. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Byzantine. Oh, the Byzantine, the, the, the Byzantine yeah, Empire. Yeah, kind. Of. Yeah. The Byzantine yeah. Empire, bro. Yeah. Kind. Of. They call it, now they call it the Arab Muslim slave trade. Right. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And that, that was in the time of Mohammed. You're a late great Mohammed, bro. Yeah. That was in the time of your late great Mohammed when he had Israelites killed for not conform, uh, transforming to Muslims, bro. And that was what? That was a time. That, that definitely was a time of the Moors too, as well, bro. Moors too, as well, bro. Kind, bro. When the Moors ruled. Kind, bro. That was that. In that time, too. I thought we were already here when the Moors ruled. No, we were already here, bro. That was after the Renaissance. That was after the Renaissance. But then I thought, okay, so with the Transatlantic and the Arab happened simultaneously, I thought. Like, it all happened simultaneously, bro. Kind. And I gotta correct myself, too. The Silk Road slave trade was with. Jake's, but it was the Chinese that was doing the Silk Road. We'll, we'll talk about that after. No, I just wanted to clarify because yeah, yeah, no, I no, said yeah, it with Eric. Yeah, 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 it was the Chinese. That was Chinese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm good. Yeah, we finished first. You know, it's still good. It's still good. It's still good. It's still good. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're going back and forth. All right. Um, verse 6. Verse 6. The middle of 6. Though briars and thorns be with thee, and thou dost dwell among scorpions, be not afraid of their words, nor be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. Verse 7, And thou shalt speak my words unto them, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are the most rebellious. They are the what? The, the most, most rebellious. rebellious. Out of any nation, bro. Out of any nation, bro. Israel is the most rebellious. They don't give a fuck about nothing. Uh, Israel don't give a fuck about nothing about their own feelings and about their own thoughts. Uh, verse 8. But thou son of man, hear what I say unto thee. Be not thou rebellious like that rebellious house. Open thy mouth and eat that I give thee. Verse what 9. What did he give thee? The scriptures. Uh, Scriptures, man. Open up thy mouth. Well, what do you mean open up thy mouth? Mean open up thy 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 soul and thy heart and thy mind, bro. We gotta we gotta we gotta open up everything willingly to accept these scriptures, bro. You can't just open up your mind towards these scriptures. You gotta open up your soul, your heart, and your mind. You gotta open up everything according to these scriptures, bro, because that's how you're gonna understand, bro. That's how you're gonna be a willing sacrifice. You can't be a one of the sacrifices. Oh, I read this. Oh, 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 I'm just, okay, I read this. No, I'm cool. No, how are you going to be a one of the sacrifices? Faith. Faith. That meaning dive in. Dive into believing these scriptures, bro. You got to dive in and believe in everything that you have read upon these scriptures, bro. It's a lot. He said the next verse. Go ahead, brother. He said the next verse. Verse 9. And when I look, behold, and hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was therein. See that? That's the scriptures, bro. Uh. That's what happened to us, bro. We've been given the scriptures with the Holy Spirit through Yahweh Shimia Bashem. Go ahead, brother. Uh, verse 10. And he spread it before me, and it was written within. And without. And there was written therein lamentations and mourning and woe. And what that means, this book is not a book of love, nigga. That's right. It's fucking done. This book is not a book of love, man. Full of lamentations, mournings, and woes, nigga. Woes. 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 War, nigga. War, nigga. Woes mean war, nigga. That's what that means. War, nigga. 
So you fucking Christians are fucking stupid, man. Come on. Okay? Understand that, man. And I'm tired of motherfucking correcting y'all Christians, man. Yeah. That's motherfucking one fucking thing. You get that fucking straight. <laughs> I'm tired of fucking correcting you. You fucking Christians. Talk about this book is fucking, fucking love. It's not love. It's fucking woes, nigga. It's the color of love, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no. Right. The color of love. No. Definitely hey. tired. Nah, 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 I'm tired of it. Definitely tired of it, bro. Yeah, yeah. I ain't seen it in the ain't talking about I'm, I'm protected from this life and the next life. Oh, what yeah. the fuck? I'm fucking protected from the, the day around. Yeah, yeah. He's all sad. You know what, man? I ain't got time for this shit. Man, you know what? That's it. Yeah. With that, we're going to end it. Go on, Lord, Yahweh, Shimmy, Shimmy, Death to America. Death to you, fucking transgender. <laughs>